Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, California Weather Watch. Today's December 21st, and yes, this is the second video here today, folks. Just wanted to point this out, that we have a pretty dangerous situation unfolding. Some very heavy rainfall moving back up across areas, mainly Oxnard, Ventura, Santa Barbara here. And even though the radar doesn't show up, some extreme precipitation occurring across some of the higher terrain, and you can kind of see this precipitation, how far back across the Pacific Ocean this goes. Very warm water out there, very cold upper level, low extreme, low level lapse rate here a lot of instability here thunderstorm activity there's even water spout and tornado potential and santa barbara and places like oxnard and ventura and some of the higher train have really been hit hard with precipitation with this incoming here you're looking at potentially one to three inches per hour rainfall incoming so you were looking at life threatening flooding conditions developing here mainly west of los, An los angeles metro for now but this is going to be pivoting off to the east and this storm is overproducing here so i don't want to tell anybody across the Los Angeles Metro that you're not going to get heavy rain. It's a less certain versus areas like Oxnard and Santa Barbara, but the potential will be coming through as we go through tonight. Same thing for San Diego and the higher terrain of Southern California and the desert areas on into Western Arizona over the next couple of days. So let's take a look. We got a weather prediction center here, flash flooding likely uh, outlook, and you can see there's Oxnard right there, and yeah, this is going to be interesting, folks, because that plume means business. That is a huge fire hose pointed at uh, some of the Santa Barbara coastline there, and big-time precipitation rates incoming with this activity. And I wouldn't be surprised if there were supercellular structures embedded in this. You can really see the convection firing off here, and then, again, the very cold air aloft, abnormally warm waters here off of Southern California, a lot of deep convection ongoing, and just intense precipitation months. Do not travel if you do not have to. Again, this is a life-threatening situation unfolding here to the west of the Los Angeles Metro. Here we're looking at the day one excessive rainfall outlook. They highlight those extreme precipitation amounts, uh, one to two inches per hour, potentially more for local areas, and already huge amounts of rain have already fallen. And this is a better look at it here. You can see just off to the west of the Los Angeles Metro is a moderate. They probably even could have considered a high risk here, but the storm is just simply overperforming and it doesn't matter right now. Right now they're just putting out flood advisories flash flood warnings and whatnot. And this is day two, so don't sleep on this as it comes across Southern California, Southeast California, and on in through Western Arizona, and eventually the Phoenix metro areas. We go through the day tomorrow. Big precipitation amounts incoming here as this move off, moves on to the east with some locally extreme high amounts up over three or four inches. Now, this is looking at the NAM, the HER this morning, and you can see it, it was having some trouble with just how extensive some of this precipitation was, and it kind of cuts it off right around maybe the noon hour here, but I don't know that it's going to be gone that quickly. And you can kind of see it being persistent and maybe running back up towards Santa Barbara again. And then you can see that every precipitation start to shift off to the east, maybe including some of San Diego, the higher terrain, the Los Angeles Metro, another round. And some of this might even spin back around as we go into Friday morning, including some of Oxnard and Ventura counties in Santa Barbara also. And some big amounts again coming for some of the desert areas. This is the NAM3 cam. I don't think it fully appreciates the strength of this flow out over the ocean ocean here and uh, the reflectivity kind of shows that here i think it's underdoing it a little bit and so it's probably underdoing the forecast precipitation amounts this is what's happened so far with the storm totals here's santa barbara and you can see some of the higher terrain has probably got up over 10 inches by now, just increasing by the minute as we speak here. Again, life-threatening flooding ongoing. If we scroll down over here to Oxnard, you can see five inches over into that now, and that's probably increasing again per by the minute as we go through here. And some huge amounts across the higher terrain. Do not be off in the back roads here. And if you were trying to travel on the 101, I would expect water to be coming over the roadway at some portion here as we go through the day today. Just extremely intense rainfall incoming. Now, if we look at this here so that we're looking at six hour precipitation and you can see the the high resolution ensemble forecast not doing too bad really it kind of caught on with this plume pretty well here and this goes on in through this evening here and you can see this is going to continue on for a few more hours and then it shifts east here kind of gets that southeast flow here. And maybe this low will keep the heaviest rain right off the coastline, but I wouldn't fully count on it. And it may still be spinning some back up towards the Santa Barbara area here and start to include San Diego. And again, the higher terrain, then pushing off to the east as we go with some big rainfalls across Arizona and New Mexico as well. 
Now, taking a look here, let's go ahead and dive into this. So this is what's known as convective allowing models. And this just kind of shows you here where the strongest reflectivity here. And you can kind of see the, each individual models. You're looking at the HER and the NAM and all kinds of stuff here. But you can see it kind of rotating around the area. And it shows some of the models showing some pretty heavy precept coming as we go through the nighttime and early morning hours tomorrow for San Diego, then eventually coming across the desert areas as well. So some places could be looking at two, four inches of precipitation, especially across the higher terrain. And you can see it spread off into Arizona a lot of lightning associated with this activity as well. Now looking at Los Angeles, so again, we've got the flood advisories out, we've got flash flood warnings out there, we've got special marine warnings, we've got water spout potential, we've got weak tornado potential, and that's gonna continue on in through tomorrow morning at least. And right now we got flash flood warnings going on. They do mention that the life-threatening flash flooding is ongoing and significant landslides are possible and other debris flows. And they're using the Doppler radar also and automated gauges that are coming off some of the streams. So yeah, um, those streams that are normally really small during the summertime or even during the winter can just come to life during this activity. As you guys have lived, like in the Santa Barbara area, the Montecito area out there, you know how those streams can just become raging, dead deadly torrents. And this is looking, what are we looking at here? The actual forecast discussion here. And they are talking about this, some flooding ongoing in the Santa Barbara area here as well. And water spout and small tornado cannot be ruled out as well. And they mentioned that extremely unstable atmosphere here. So yeah, I just wanted to point this out and just kind of get the word out to everybody. This is going to be ongoing here for the next few hours. And this could potentially back this really heavy precipitation. You see that round just kind of went through Santa Barbara, but there might be more again on the way behind this. You guys, you got to really be careful coming up here. Don't travel if you don't have to. Seek higher ground if you see the water rising, if you can, or stay put if you are in a safe area. Do not add to any traffic on the roadways out there. And again, watch out across Los Angeles. It's kind of a, a fool's errand to say, hey, you're not going to get big amounts across here because the storm has, you know, it has a big punch with it. And also across San Diego as we go through tonight into tomorrow morning. So heads up for that. Anyway, I thought I would put this out there just to try to keep people... Um, abreast of the situation here, but yeah, a pretty nice product here, this Radar Omega. You can actually see that uh, excessive rainfall outlook kind of overlaid on here as well. And it shows that special marine warning there. If you click on that, you can actually see what's going on. Water spouts, wind gusts 34 knots or higher, small hail, you know, some gusty winds out there. And of course, could even make landfall as a weak tornado. But yeah, you can see some of those embedded uh, showers in there. Again, I wouldn't be surprised if there's some embedded supercellular structure coming on shore with some of these showers here over the next several hours. And yeah, anyway, um, what else? I guess we'll do this again tomorrow. The normal briefing will come out then. Um, yeah, I, I debated flying down to Los Angeles and coming out and covering this, but frankly, it's just too dangerous. I mean, especially that I was going to be by myself. You, you really kind of need someone else to be thinking and driving and somebody doing the forecasting as well. And just kind of driving out there is kind of, uh, frankly, a crazy thing to do. I mean, things can get pretty nuts. We came down there last January during the atmospheric river stuff, and it was wild enough then. And this actually might be surpassing it for a lot of this area here. And it's no signs of stopping anytime soon. I got at least a few more hours to go. So anyway, Hope you guys are having a good day. Stay safe out there. We'll do the normal briefings tomorrow and I will talk to you guys then.